do here we look at the charts we look at the open interest data we look at the FIA DIA data and we figure out what will happen in the market likely tomorrow right our idea is very simple if we know what the big guys are doing why don't we just copy the mention of listening to what they are saying right so what do we do as a philosophy we don't read the newspapers at least i don't read the newspapers i've never subscribed to a newspaper in the last 10 years i don't listen to news i don't watch tv i look at uh, for real i don't i i i i don't think i've had a cable tv subscription oh my god ever right i think yeah i don't think ever since i've started working i've never kept a <clears throat> Uh, so I don't watch news. So the only thing I do is I look at the charts, I look at the data. Not that it works splendidly for me. If if it did work splendidly for me, my background would be Monaco and there would be a Lamborghini obligatory parked on the sides with the on, on the deck of my yacht. But regardless, you know, I, I know people who listen to news and read the papers. Uh, they generally don't stick around for long. So <clears throat> So we just look at one thing, right? Charts data and FIA data tells us what the big guys are doing. Big guys usually win. So instead of reinventing the wheel, we try to copy the <coughs> big guys. That is the only purpose of our program here, Kya Lagra Market. I think we should change the name of this program to Chalo Copy Karte, what the big guys are doing in the market. But actually that's a good name because a lot of people rename their show to Kya Lagra Market after we launched it. It's like a blatant copyright violation. But hey, who cares, right? This is India. Let's let's go. I mean, let's use the, I mean, very glad that, you know, all the other option trading platforms recognize Sensible as a de facto industry standard every time they you know, copy paste the feature, but, but at least the Calagra market, naam to chhod do, yaar. Like, what is this? Uh, but anyway, so let's look at uh, um, uh, Nifty first, right? So, uh, First of all, 17,800 is taken out. This was a swing low and this was also a gap that is getting taken out. And it seems like we very clearly might be headed towards 18,000 where this trend line uh, is descending, right? Uh, there's also a, a intermediate state here, which is the uh, 100 DMA. So 100 DMA and this trend line are the immediate resistances. And from the looks of it, Given that Nifty has closed above the swing high of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Last 9 trading session ka highs are taken out today. So it, there's a very high likelihood that we can go higher, right? And also if you, you have to look at the volumes today, right? It's very high, uh, higher than average compared to a lot of previous descending days. So that is good news if you're bullish in Nifty for sure, right? So Nifty is looking like it's going to test the next level. Wahape, will it break out or will it come down? We don't know. But for sure, it is looking like it can go higher. The same story applies to Bank Nifty. Bank Nifty is also testing. We were talking about yesterday, right? This 100 DMA is a very critical level. This 42,000 is also a very critical level. It's hovering around that area. You can see that the volumes is reducing. <clears throat> Maybe people are not sure what to do. And this is an indecision candle or a doji, right? Um, that's one thing. Now let's go to open it. Let's look at dollar. Dollar we talked about it yesterday. Um, there's a clean trend line here. It tested the trend line and it descend, It came down a little bit. And now um, whether it will go down further or uh, it will bounce back from the bottom, we don't know yet. But for sure, there is some kind of a resistance operating there. Right? That is point number one. On dollar, I think that's the only point on dollar. Now let's look at. Uh, oh, if you haven't watched this, please do search for frauds of trading poor on uh, on uh, YouTube. It's a new web series which Sagar from our team has created. It's pretty cool. You know, like it's very, it's, it's very nice actually. You can see the opening credits. He has put in a lot of effort and graphics and stuff like this. Is a full playlist. You can see all kinds of scams in this. It's in Hindi and English both. It's pretty nice. So. Uh, there's a lot of put addition here. There's a lot of call unwinding here. 17,800 had a lot of call unwind. That's a strong signal that uh, market is likely to go up. Uh, 23 million calls unwound, 30 million puts added. That made the PCR jump from 0 0.6 yesterday to 1.2 today. And what was looking like a 17,800 resistance option chain now looks like 
17800 is a support and 18000 is a resistance so if you ask me there's a high probability that expiry is going to be between these two numbers 17800 and 18000 right and uh, finally oh, 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 let's just look at multi strike over it's been a long time since we did it yeah suddenly after the after, after today this morning you can see that calls were pretty stationary but puts were getting written all the while and let's also look at intraday oi uh, live option charts you can see that it's a fairly yeah morning was the biggest put writing then it was steady put writing at every hour 9 45 10 15 11 15 9 45 there was put writing at every hour and call unwinding at hour. This is intraday booking so that you can ignore this for sure. PCR steadily went up. That's also a very strong signal that market is indeed witnessing a unilateral bullish pressure. Uh, open interest of futures decreased and Nifty went up, which means short covering. Um, and yeah, IV is dropping. Yeah, yeah. Now let's look at... Um, uh, this right this is fi data fi sold calls and sold puts it indicates range bound they bought 1200 crore futures they sold 700 crore stocks oi is decreasing uh, negative oi is decreasing which is good news of course but let's be cognizant of the fact that there is still a lot of negative oi here so largely um, FI option data is neutral. FI futures data day on day is positive, but overall their OI is negative on futures. So, you know, um, not a very overwhelmingly positive FI data. So my verdict for tomorrow is that we might find a range board expiry between 17,800 and 18,000 with a possibility to test 18,000. So yesterday we were saying that if 17800 is broken you can sell puts of 17700 or below so the trade is simple if you did that you can hold them till expiry yesterday let me quickly look at some user comments now kuch to gadbad hai daya wish you lambo and italy was <laughs> lambo that's even clear like JP Nagar 24th main road ka speed breaker. So, uh, searching for the guy who confidently said Nifty will be in 17,350. Yaar, chodo yaar. People make mistakes. Everybody make mistakes. Yaar. We, how many times have we got things wrong? Uh, what if Dow Jones, Nasdaq and SGX are fully bearish for tomorrow? Can we expect Nifty to... What is this? Sorry. I, I So, I don't look at SGX Nifty, but let's see. Now that you're saying it. Here, kaha bearish here. SGX is flat only. 37 points is nothing, right? Let's look at your BJI also. It's like flat uh, S&P. Here, so don't look at this, right? Because it's it doesn't... See, so if you want to really improve your mental health, one thing you can immediately do is stop looking at, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, markets, uh, US markets after, uh, uh, you know, India closes because it's not like you can do anything, right? So, मतलब क्या ही कर लोगे आप? 9:30 को ये trade डालना है ना? To the people of planet Earth, you are from Bangalore. Yes, I am from Bangalore. Namaskara. So yeah. <laughs> so anyway, so uh, this. So but because tomorrow is expiry, let's also take a shot at what the weekly candle is looking like now. <laughs> so this is interesting, right? This was a bullish piercing candle which had huge volumes and if nifty is able to close above 17850 tomorrow it i mean this friday this will be confirmation for a bullish candle and then we can expect fireworks let's also look at bank nifty it is again forming a bullish piercing candle there's a doji here but bank nifty if it's able to close above last week's closing level we have a confirmation which might lead to fireworks dollar if this trend line does not get taken out, we can expect continuous selling in dollar and then maybe maybe then the whole picture will add up, right? Weak dollar, strong nifty and strong bank nifty. The only worry I have is that sometimes nifty can come back and test uh, 17500 odd levels now because uh, this trend line, right? But in the past, whenever we have met this trend line, it's not like there has been a retest, right? 
every time we had this trend line going the covid trend line covid plus ukraine trend line we hardly had action there sustaining because every time the reversal signal came it didn't stop there it just went up and up and up so but the only counterpoint that to that i have is that there are multiple resistances here unlike the previous time this trend line this 100 ema this 18000 level uh, also there are three moving averages here but here's the good news right none of these moving averages early moving averages whether it's 150 or so 50 got taken out easily it's a support now 100 got taken out today at 200 doesn't look like it's really rejecting the price so if these three moving averages get taken out then we have a consolidation about 7900 then it's only a matter of time before this thing will break right so watch these trend lines Right. There could be some, I mean, watch these moving averages, there will be some cons consolidation here. But once you see the breakout happening from here, like if somebody were to again put a gun on my head and ask, boss, wo sab chodo, batao, long jaoge, short jaoge, and I'll give you three months to get it right. You don't have to worry about temporary fluctuations. I'd rather get long than short for the simple reason that a breakout here can cause Nifty to do like a phenomenal rally. Right. And that rally could be massive. Right. If it breaks out of this trend line, 18,000 gaya agar, so we can see a lot of fireworks happening, maybe a new all time high. But so the upside is very huge, right? And you don't really have a stop loss there. So if you short here at 18,000, right, you don't know where your stop loss should be because it can get, whereas if you long here, right, somewhere around 7,500, you have like a 100 point stop loss for like a long term trade, whether you're building a portfolio or taking positional futures with like a thousand if you like a true trend followers and if you follow follower and you want to build some positions here this is like a nice position to build it if you get close to 1700 simply because the stop loss is very close right so probably i would look to build that right uh, surya is asking trading view integration coming soon yes trading view integration in sensible is coming soon um, Nifty outperform bank Nifty today. Today's short squeeze, not bullish. Yeah, today is the short covering. Anyway, so I think that brings us to the close of uh, this analysis. We'll see you again um, tomorrow with our post expiry analysis. As usual, no tips, no advice, no recommendation. All of this is analysis so that you can do the same. On that note, I'll take your leave. Um, please take care and.